is an increase in funding enough to address the retention and hiring problems that police departments are facing, or do you have any other recommendations for this problem? I don't think it's enough, in part because I don't think that the recruitment and retention crisis is simply a function of the resources being dedicated to recruitment and retention. We have seen, particularly over the last couple of years, the profession of policing, and it is a profession, be demonized uh, in a way that I don't think any other profession has ever really seen. And it makes people really question themselves. Why on earth would I take a job that requires me to wear a bulletproof vest and have a gun on my hip to do, only to be, you know, uh, if only metaphorically, spit on by the public that I'm risking my life to serve? These are questions I asked myself in 2010 when I took the LSAT and the NYPD exam in the same week. My father, who's sitting here today, talked me out of becoming a cop precisely because of the reality that even back then, police officers couldn't count on the support of their communities, of their cities, of the news media when they were engaged in something that looked controversial on video. Um, and so I think lots of people, particularly people that we want in policing, people who have high levels of educational attainment, who have high levels of psychological stability, people that we want to become cops and serve their communities, these are also people who have other options. And when they weigh those options alongside a career in policing, it's not at all surprising to me, given the rhetoric of the last two years, that they choose those other options. And we're all worse off for it.